Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will show you how we can set up automatic attack simulation techniques for our whole organizations that they will get simulation attack on the schedule basis automatically like we don't need to come here and set up simulation again manually and send to the users. <coughs> Previously, we have set up credential harvest, like we have set up simulation attack and we, we have sent it to users and I explained everything in my previous attack simulation video. So, it's better to go through my previous video first and then come here to see how we can set up attack simulation automatically. So, to reach to the attack simulation training page, you have to go to here, security. Okay, you have to open security and compliance and then you have to go to email collaboration, email and collaboration and then attack simulation. So, it, it will open the same page here, if you can see my screen okay so let's go to attack simulation training and set up automatic automation attack simulator uh, simulation and which will send user different simulation attack on the schedule basis which we have we will schedule in here while setting up so i will go through one by one and will show you how we can automate attack simulation so let's create automation attack simulation let's see let's name it attack auto you can name it whatever you want okay here we have to select a social engineering techniques so previously we did on credential harvest and now i will select more techniques right like you can select other techniques as well so which i will select more technique which will randomly send user and simulation attack and if any user gets compromised i will send them training and everything is like explained in my previous first video of attack simulation here so now we are at the part that we have to select a payload and login page like we can select payload one by one like which payload we want user to get email from right and like in the random attack simulation for your understanding i have opened one of payload like new file alert this is the payload format what they will get so better i uh, for me i will I, I think it's better to say randomize like Microsoft will select randomize payloads and it will send them automatically. I want to include all of the users in my organizations organization. Okay. Next. Now we are at the page assign training like if someone gets compromised how they will get training or what will be the training schedule for them so let's microsoft assign training courses and module based on the user previous simulation and training results using learning pathway so it, it will be better because i select randomized payload it will send them uh simulation and training like uh training on the basis of previous simulation so i will select this first one and select the due date of training i can say it's like 30 days user can take time to get trained okay Hit next now select landing page that provide learning moment to user after getting fished so once the user get fished after uh, like uh, by this attack simulation we can select like landing page 
right this will be a landing page they will get uh, for the training once they get fish so previously we have select microsoft landing page template one so let's select template two okay hit next and user notification preferences for this campaign campaign i will select microsoft default all right we can say do not deliver those notifications and uh, we can customize and users notification experiences so microsoft default positive reinforcement notification i can say deliver after simulation and attack simulation will end and they will get this notification so the next notification this notification is not applicable here so i'm not able to do anything with this notification right assignment notification so the next is microsoft default training a reminder like user will get a reminder for getting their training so i will select it weekly not twice a weekly so hit next now we are at simulation schedule right so at simulation schedule like uh, i will select randomize for your understanding as well as it depends on your company how it depends upon your company or recommended by your company owner that how they want to get simulation attacks so i will select randomize so i can show you on the next page how we can select it randomly not by a fixed date so let's select the schedule when we want to start this simulation right so i want to start this simulation in the next month starting like in the next month at friday okay okay like it will start uh, uh, friday next month but i want to send a simulation attack on monday like select the days of the week that simulation are allowed to start on so let's select monday or we can say they can start also on wednesday they can start on friday okay now we have to select the maximum number of simulations that can be started between that can be started between the start and end day right i uh, above is the start date this is the end date right so i want to select the simulation approximately for a year like i don't want to set simulation again and again for the whole year so <clears throat> here in one year i can say i want six simulation okay now let's select the end date of simulation let's go to next year select the date uh, month and now select the date so my simulation will be scheduled right for more than a year like yeah approximately it's for the year and in that complete year they will send six simulation i hope you understand this is the important part of schedule automatic simulation so let hit next okay configure additional settings now it's detailed so use unique payload across simulation within automation i will not select anything here except target all selected users in every simulation run right and we also have the option target repeat offenders enable region aware delivery so basically i will target all users in every simulation whether they are get fish or no hit next now our simulation is ready 
techniques description and everything is here i will submit it so after submitting a simulation it can take like five two minutes oh it's get set and this will be launched in next month starting friday so here you go we have set up automatic simulation in simple and to the point step without wasting your time so my target of all the video tutorial is that user will get understand in time and user will not get any delayed in understanding and they will not have problems so that's why i have tried to target the important stuff in my videos so that if the user is already gone through the theory and understanding they can see here things in action so it's showing inactive right after setting up so let's see i can turn it on from here okay so let's turn on hit confirm this will be turned on automatically now so that's it to about today lecture and i hope this lecture will help you in understanding simulation automation please must watch my first video about simulation like i have sent a manual simulation in the first video but i have explained everything including getting trained thanks for watching keep watching keep sharing bye